It's a great honor to be uh, offered a, a doctorate from this beautiful institution that I, for which I have so much respect. It is a pioneering university in a pioneering part of the country. I grew up in a Zionist home. I was born in Quebec City and grew up in Quebec City, Canada. And I'm the son of Holocaust uh, surviving parents. When I moved to Israel, uh, I decided to devote this next chapter of my life to philanthropic pursuits here in the country. I'm trying to promote Israel abroad to reach uh, what I call the silent majority, regular folk who don't really know Israel at all, but if pushed, probably have a negative impression because of this steady drumbeat of negative news that comes from, from journalists. And so I've put on very, very large scale events, uh, beginning with the Giro d'Italia uh, bicycle race, where we had um, nearly a billion television viewers. I uh, am associated with three hospitals. There is a Sylvan Adams Children's Hospital uh, in Hulon, uh, which hosts a very beautiful uh, NGO called Save a Child's Heart that does uh, life-saving heart operations uh, on children from underprivileged parts of the world, including we have Palestinians who, who arrive from Gaza, basically saving their children's lives at our hospital. I started riding uh, my, uh, in, in my late 30s, and at age 41, I took up bicycle racing. I built the first velodrome in the Middle East here in Tel Aviv, and the idea here is um, to introduce kids to track cycling and have them show up at world championships and Olympic games. Well, I have this bicycle team called Israel Premier Tech and um, we compete all around the world and we have Israel emblazoned on our jerseys and so my Israel Premier Tech team actually competes in the world tours and we are in the Tour de France every year and we compete at the highest level of the sport and the, the first team from Israel to do so. Sports is very, very, a very powerful tool. I support Israel's uh, national judo program, and uh, we went to Abu Dhabi, and our Israeli judoka won. Hatikva was played, and the Israeli flag raised. I, I must tell you, there wasn't a dry eye in the, in the Israeli delegation. So sport diplomacy is something that, that really works, because you're building people-to-people -people bridges, it's a great tool to use and, and it's, it's, it's part of the activities that, uh, that I'm promoting.